Hi and welcome to the next in our uh, monkey series. So today we're going to have a look at applying a basic BVH file to the um, basic monkey stick figure so we can add some animation. Now BVH files are freely available on the web and you can go to Carnegie Mellon Uni who have a really extensive easy to use library of um, BVH files but you'll find lots of others around as well. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and import a BVH file. So let's just get into that now. So I'm just going to go File, Import, and I come down here to Motion Capture, and you can see it says dot .bvh beside it. So I'm just going to click on that now and browse to some Motion Capture files, and I've already got a folder here of ones from Carnegie Mellon and I'm going to import number 35 here so I'm just going to click on import bvh okay I'll click on that now okay and the first thing that we can see here is that it's imported the um, armature down here um, but it's also rotated at 90 degrees okay that's no major dramas now I'm just going to hit play down here in the timeline and just check that it plays okay so you can see as soon as I hit play on this that and it starts uh, walking up straight up great that is no problem at all so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to rotate this object at 90 degrees so um, there's different ways you can do it I might just use this simple um, method here so I'm just going to grab it by the rotate handle I'm going to hold down my control and you can see it's snapping in 10 increments there we go and I've got it at 90 degrees that's good so it's standing up nice and straight and then I'm going to rotate it again at 90 degrees so it's just whoops it's just starting to line up with my character so we can see now the um, the file is um, standing there in front of the monkey and um, so we're going to rig this into the monkey as we get going okay now as we can see when we started to hit play here that the um, the armature starts walking around which is all good but we want to have it um, in a rest mode so that we can um, rig it to the monkey now rest mode is basically with these type of armatures is standing in a neutral position with the arms outstretched so what we can do when we've got the armature selected here I can come up here to the armature button going to click on this and you can see here we've got pose position so pose positions when the armature is moving and we've got rest position when the armature is in this rest position okay so we can see here now that it's gone into this neutral position so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, start to move that up and um, into my monkey basically so that it starts to work now I'm going to turn off perspective here I'm going to grab this and I'm going to start rigging it up here okay that is good now I might turn on wireframe there's different ways you can do this but I think I'll just use wireframe for the moment so I'm going to um, go into edit mode for this armature so I'll select edit mode and you can see now that I can select individual bones and I can start to move them around okay so what I'm going to do here is the first thing I'm going to do is have a look at the legs and I'm going to G and I'm going to just grab those and start to move them down and I'm going to scale them in as well and then move them back up again okay so I want this sort of these legs basically to come out from the hips here and it's a good idea if you move these um, together as in so that they stay nice and symmetrical okay so that's looking good there now I'm just going to grab the arms and I'm just going to scale the arms in I'm just going to find the right axis here okay that's good G and I'm going to move those in there that's pretty good that's fairly symmetrical one thing I've noticed with my monkey here is that it's actually when I get in and have a look at it it actually the legs are kind of like straight down but they should be actually splayed apart a little bit to um, be in the neutral pose position so what I might do here is simply what's the best way of doing this I think I'm just going to go in there I'm just going to um, box select this first part here 
I'm just going to grab and move it across a bit and just center it on the rig. This is a little bit inaccurate, but it's good enough just for the moment. Okay, I'll make sure I'm see through here. I'm going to box select this next section, grab, and I'm going to pull it across a bit. That's good. Actually, I've just noticed that I haven't grabbed the bottom of my leg there properly because I didn't have it set right. So I'm just going to do that again. So I'm just going to box select. Okay, and now I'm just going to grab and move that across. Yep. Oh, box select. Grab and move it across a bit. That's fine. Oh, um, that's fine. So I'm just going to box select this next one. G, and I'm going to grab and move it out a bit. You can set your axis to make sure that's a little bit more accurate. Oh, and the next thing I'm going to do is just box select and grab this section and move this out a little bit. G, yeah, just so it looks a little bit straighter. That's good. And then this next part here, I might bring these hips in a little bit. So I might just um, box select this section here and scale, set my direction, and just sort of bring the yeah, just bring the legs in a little bit. And I might just select these vertices here and these vertices here, scale. Y and just bring those in a little bit so that the legs are just a little bit sort of yeah better formed you can see that the body's really a big stick figure at the moment but that's fully okay now let's have a look sideways at our rig and we'll turn on Z we're not looking too bad there um, that's all pretty good I might just straighten straighten these bones up just a little bit in rest position so I might just B box select all this whoops I'm going to go out of edit mode here and select the bones go into edit mode for those and select the bones at the bottom here that's good and just straighten them up here now so I can see that pretty much everything's nicely controlled and I might move this bone up into the head a little bit more so that we've got sort of control over the head and we're good okay so now we've basically got ourselves a um, set of bones that um, fits to the body so okay we're starting to get to the good stuff now so let's just we're in object mode so let's now select our oops we want to stay in object mode let's first select our body and then select our okay so next thing we need to do here is we want to make sure our head and our body are parent are joined together so let's just do a control j and join them together so they're the one mesh that's good okay now let's select the bones and then select the body and we're going to go control p whoops that's the wrong, must be the wrong way around let's select the bones and the body control p Oh, there we go. Sorry. So it's the body and then the bones. It takes a bit of mucking around. So now when I go Control P, I should come up. Yes, this excellent set. Parent two, and we've got a whole lot of different things. Let's go automatic weights here. There's different ways you can do this. Okay, we're good. So what automatic weights does is it automatically rigs the bones to the body so that now if we turn on our pose position we can start to see that our monkey has um has moved so if i go rest position okay he's standing round and if we go pose position as the um skeleton or the armature moves into position you can see that the monkeys move with it so let's turn that on solid a little bit more and i'll just do that again rest position okay and then pose position so don't forget pose is the bit where he moves and let's just check out how things are starting to operate now so I'm coming down here to the timeline I'm going to hit play animation okay good one so we can start to see our armature is starting to move oops in accordance with that BVH file 
Now, this is not the most spectacular example of it, but it's not too bad. It's got a little bit of twitching, but I'll show you how to um, how to tune that out of it later on. So once you've got a running cycle like this, you can apply it um, as a cycle, and um, you can have your monkey continue to run. Okay, so they're, they're the basics of... Um, motion capture files. Motion capture files are great because they give you excellent um, animation that is really difficult to achieve that realism by hand. You'd have to be an extremely um, advanced animator to be able to replicate the um, the look and feel of motion by hand. Um, so yeah, it takes years of study. So we're um, getting around that by motion capturing. Now I know there's lots of good motion capture basic um, rigs coming onto the market now that are um, sort of ideal for the experimenter. I know the um, Xbox Connect setup is um, is looking good and Microsoft have released a package for that so you can get in and hook it up to your um, PC and um, experiment with that using that as a motion capture rig which gets excellent results I'm told um, I'm not sure what other operating systems that's available yet for but I'm really hoping it's going to be out for OS X okay so that's it for today thank you very much for your time and other ones in the monkey series we're going to have a look at mapping faces onto the monkey we're going to have a look at putting hair on the monkey we're going to have a look at putting the monkey into a the basic landscape with um, photo textures and start to bring things to life a little bit okay thank you bye